states of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and volume. Matter can be found in three states. Solid state, liquid state, or gaseous state. Matter can be changed from one state to another by heating or by cooling. And this is kind of a changes is reversible change because just the shape of the matter is only change without changing in the structure. It means by heating something or by melting something from solid state to liquid state, it doesn't produce a new material. For example, ice, if you uh, uh, melt uh, the ice into water, it will not change into a new material. Ice is a water, but in the solid state, and water, the same matter in the liquid state. And also in the gaseous state, water vapor, if you evaporate the uh, water to water vapor, it will stay and the same structure does not produce a new material. Water vapor, the same structure, the same matter, like the liquid state, like the water uh, in the liquid state. Ice melts at zero Celsius degree, and the water evaporates at zero Celsius degree. Cooling, okay. I can reverse these changes, the melting and the evaporation by cooling. If the water vapor gas is cold, cooled, okay, uh, if you, uh, if the water vapor faced a cold surface, it will return back to the liquid state. Okay, and also if you uh, cooled the water, it will return back to the ice or the solid state of water, and this is called freezing. So condensing and the freezing are happening by cooling. This is a summary for the changes between the different states of matter. The ice by heat at zero Celsius degree, it will melt to liquid state. And water by more heating, um, at 100 Celsius degree, it will evaporate into water vapor. And if you cool the water vapor, it will return back to uh, the liquid state. This is called the condensation. And if you freeze the liquid at zero Celsius degree, it will return back to the ice, which is the solid state of matter. Right. We have a new... Um, uh, part in this lesson, the water cycle. Water cycle on the Earth is constantly moving. It's recycled over and over again. The recycling process is called water cycle. Water cycle depends on the changes between the st different states of water. Okay, let's discuss that. The first thing a water evaporates into the air the sun heats up water on land and in river lakes and in seas and it turns it into water vapor this water vapor raises into the air so the first process when the water in seas and oceans and river is heated by the sun uh, the, the sunlight it uh, change into water vapor and raises into the land. This is called, of course, evaporation. So the first, uh, the first stage or the first step of the water cycle, evaporation. The second step, water vapor condenses into cloud, condenses into cloud or forming a cloud. Water vapor in the air cools down and they change back into a tiny drops of liquid water, forming clouds. Okay, second step is condensation, condensation. After that, the third step, water falls as a rain. The cloud gets heavy and water falls back to the earth in a form of rain 
or snow if it's wa if it was so cold in this area. This is called precipitation. Precipitation. This is this process called precipitation. The final process: water returns to the sea. Rain water runs over the land and collects in lake or river, which take it back to the sea. The cycle starts over again and again and again. Okay, like our uh, uh, our uh, the River Nile, River Nile, the water that comes from Ethiopia, in the River Nile collected in the River Nile, and the River Nile poured this water into the Mediterranean Sea, or the water collected, and returns back to the uh, uh, to the sea to start to be evaporates again and repeat the uh, water cycle again. This is the summary of what is happening. First, the first step, evaporation. The sun heats the water in seas, river, and lakes, and the water vapor raises up. Second step, condensation. The water uh, vapor in the sky condenses when it uh, cools down and the forming cloud. The third step, precipitation. Precipitation, it means the uh, clouds become heavy and the rain falls down in the land or even in the sea. After that collection, the water from uh, rivers or land or whatever, they collect together and return back to the uh, to the sea, and the recycle is repeated again and again and again. This is called the water cycle. Let's talk about some facts about water. First, water is very essential for the life on Earth. All living organisms cannot live without water. Uh, second fact, water is made of very tiny particle, very tiny particle, like any material is made of very tiny particle. The water particle consists of two hydrogen gas and one oxygen gas. That leads us to the third fact, which is the chemical formula of water, H2O. What's the meaning of H2O? That means that means uh, the small particle, the small thing, the smallest building unit of the water consists of two hydrogen and one oxygen, H2O. Two hydrogen gas combines, uh, combined with one oxygen gas, okay, they form the water particle, okay? The, uh, the last one, Despite, uh, despite all, all other kinds of liquid, when water freezes, it changes into solid state, its volume or its size get bigger. Any material, when it changes from liquid state to the solid state, its volume decreases. Its volume decreases, except water. When the water freezes or changes into the solid state, the volume of ice is larger than the volume of water. So any material, any material, when it becomes solid state, its volume decreases or its size decreases. But water only in the liquid state has a smaller size from water in the solid state. The volume of water in solid state is bigger or larger than the volume of water in the liquid state. That means if you have amount of water, for example, one liter, and if you put it inside the freezer, after a while, the water becomes ice. But the volume of water, which was one liter, will become larger than one liter. That means the volume of the same amount of water, when it freezes, it increases when it becomes ice. This is 
something very important because you, we ha you have to be careful when you put a bottle of water inside the uh, freezer. Okay, do not fill the bottle of water to the top or to the end of it, okay? Because when the water freezes into ice, the volume of, uh, uh, of water will increase and it will make a pressure on the uh, bottle wall and it will break the bottle wall if it was from the glass. Of course, it will uh, uh, get broken or it, uh, it uh, get broken because the ice expanded inside the uh, bottle. Thank you for watching.